So for this question, we've got to express this fraction in partial fractions. And what we've got here are two linear factors in the denominator. And if you've watched the earlier tutorials on partial fractions for linear factors, you'd know that we have a constant, which I'll call A, and you put it over the first linear factor, which will be P, and then we have plus the other linear factor, 11 minus 2P, and that's put below another constant. So we'll have, say, B as that constant, and it'll be 11 minus 2P in the denominator. Then the next thing I'll do is multiply throughout by what we have here in this denominator, p times 11 minus 2p. If you do that, although you most probably wouldn't want to write this out, you'd just see it, but I've written it here just in case there is a problem, you're going to get this, okay? We're going to be multiplying each of the terms by p times 11 minus 2p. The reason for that is that we can cancel out that p times 11 minus 2p in each of these terms. And what that's going to leave me with is this. It's going to be 1 is identical then to a times 11 minus 2p plus b times p. And you should really be able to go straight to that line from here. Anyway. We've got to work out these constants a and b next, and we select suitable values for p to make each of these terms zero. That's the best method we could use here. And what I'm going to do is set p equal to zero first of all, and that will take out that term. It avoids simultaneous equations, so what I'm going to do is let p equal zero. If I do that, we therefore have that one OK, is equal to 11 minus 0 there. So just 11a. OK, it's going to be 1 is equal to 11a. And clearly, if we divide both sides by 11, we end up with a equaling 1 11th. And to get b, all I need to do is set this bracket equal to 0. And that would mean that p would equal 11 over 2. So if we say let p equal 11 over 2, then what we have is the one on the left again is equal to, this bracket goes to 0, and we have b times 11 over 2, so that's 11b over 2. And by rearranging this, just multiplying both sides by 2 and dividing by 11, we end up with b equaling 2 over 11, 2 elevenths. So all I need to do now is just substitute these values for a and b back into here. If you do that, you'll get the fractions on the top here. Hopefully you'll avoid this line and you'll just see that by multiplying top and bottom of each of these fractions by 11 that you get this result here. Okay, so I hope you've been able to see your way through that one.